going on everybody welcome back to another video today we're going to be making a mini cyber deck um thanks to elcro uh they ended up sending me a seven inch hdmi touchscreen monitor um, i'm going to be focusing the build around that um, as well as trying to make one that's easy to follow and make yourself so i'm like my whole idea of this build is that it's going to be super simple to follow you don't need to wire anything anything crazy it's going to be like a plug and play type of uh, build here so anybody can do it, and then if you don't like it afterwards, you can just take all the stuff apart and use it for other stuff uh, in the future. So kind of like a modular uh, design here. This build has a Raspberry Pi 5 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's going to be powering everything. We have the touch screen that we got from uh, Elcro. We have a solar charging uh, battery bank. We have a keyboard and mouse and uh, a mini one. And uh, we're trying to include Meshtastic into this build as well. So it's going to be a very easy cyber deck to build because pretty much I'm going to make it so it's all plug and play. Um, no real wiring or soldering required. So some, nothing nice and simple. And the idea of this build is if you get bored of it, you could always use all the stuff for something else. Just unplug it and use it for something else. So kind of like a survival tech uh, build here too, where you could pretty much use this battery bank for other things. You can unplug it for other things, uh, charge it separately. So that's what this build is going to be focused around. Something more modular and uh, kind of exciting and fun. So let's dive into it. First things first, we need to go and get this Raspberry Pi 5 set up. So I'm going to show you how to do that upstairs in the uh, the editing studio. This is where I game and also edit YouTube videos. So this is where we're going to be setting up the Raspberry Pi 5. Um, you're going to need a micro SD card, the Raspberry Pi uh, imager. So we're going to show you how to download that in a second. Uh, make sure you have something to plug in your micro SD card so you can program it. So I have a little uh, dock here that has a little SD card slot so I can actually program it because the Mac Mini doesn't have that. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and install the Raspberry Pi imager so we can set this up. And uh, also I'm going to leave a link in the description for all the stuff you see here as well as uh, the YouTube store stuff. It's much easier to find things. I'm going to leave that in the bottom left corner, I guess. So go ahead and click on that stuff if you're looking to make one of these things. I'll leave a link in the description, but that's the link you need to get, uh, raspberrypi.com slash software. You're gonna see this website, and then you're gonna want to go down to download. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so I'll say download from Mac, but whatever operating system you're on, you're just gonna click on it. So it knows I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna click on Mac. It's going to download. There it is, click on that. All right, it's that easy. Now we have the imager, so now we gotta uh, get this set up here. I'm gonna be unwrapping that and just putting it into there. All right, there it is right there. So now we're gonna go back to the imager. So we have a Raspberry Pi 5. So it's as simple as click on Raspberry Pi 5. Choose OS. So you can pretty much choose what you want. So there's another video I have, I, I put Kali onto this thing, but we're gonna put a uh, whatever they offer here. So let's just do the 64-bit. Uh, Pi OS right here. Nice and simple. Um, that should run fine on the four gigabytes of RAM here. So let's go ahead and click on that. Choose storage device. That's that guy over there. And next, uh, would you like the OS customization settings? Edit settings? No, just do, just do it. I don't care. Do what you want to do. Okay, let me just put my fingerprint here. Okay, fingerprint. Yes, allow, and let it do what it needs to do, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so once it's done, which it is here, I'm gonna be unplugging the micro SD card and putting it into the back. There's a little SD card slot. Um, go ahead and plug the micro SD card into here. Micro SD card is in. Now we gotta go downstairs and back to the studio and go ahead and set up the CyberDeck foam spots. Okay, one thing I failed to mention is that you should test it before you find a, a place for all this stuff. So before I screwed anything down and hit wires, I might as well make sure it works. So as you see here, you see the Raspberry Pi, the screen is working. You see the Raspberry Pi on, and it's all being powered from this power bank. So it can do it, it can handle it. And let's see if the mouse works. It is working. Let's go ahead and... I mean, it's not great, by the way, but click... All right, so let me go ahead. Now that I know everything works, I'm going to be trying to make this nice and neat and organized. So I'll get back to you once I figure out how to do that. I recommend getting a little bit bigger case than what I have here, just so like you could have screw it down completely, but be able to access this little uh, panel right here. So I just have enough play where these cords don't uh, bend too much. Like this is probably, this probably just fits. Maybe go with a five inch screen, maybe not the seven full inch screen, but 
you're probably better off, uh, be, you'll benefit from it, but just have a little bit bigger of a case. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this up. Okay, so it was trying to defeat me, as you could tell. Um, it was a lot of trial and errors, but that's part of the process and that's uh, part of the fun, right? So this is the final design. So it's not exactly how I wanted it to be, but I think it turned out to be even better. So having it so it doesn't fall out, and I, I'll explain. This is, there's some reason I gotta clean all the glue off. Long story short, you can't see it right now. It's just it's installing, it's updating itself. So everything is working right now. This is a functioning computer. It's all powering off of this uh, USB uh, power bank here. Raspberry Pi Five hangs off the edge now. In storage, you have to unplug it, and then I'm gonna make a little spot in here that where the Raspberry Pi could rest. Um, the Raspberry Pi will will meet this, but not plugged into anything. This design allows the Raspberry Pi to breathe. Um, this thing gets pretty hot, so I didn't feel comfortable leaving it inside here while it's running, especially what I'm planning on doing with it. Um, so it kind of hangs off the side. It kind of reminds me of this build right here. This is a Raspberry Pi 5. Um, this one has Kali Linux on it. That's a mouse and keyboard combo that looks like a uh, looks like a laptop, and it won't focus. There you go. So, so kind of got the same idea. So it kind of like, huh? So it's off to the side. It's running. The mouse and keyboard works fine. Just you take it out, and you kind of you want to hold it. Like it doesn't really work well with gloves on, but you can see that it's moving. Like this is you're probably gonna want to hold with two hands and. Uh, um, just type away. Um, it's not as great as a regular keyboard, but it works. I mean, holding it like a phone and using it like that, it's a lot easier and storing it so much better. If it's nice and snug in here, I got to glue these two things back together because it was tough trying to rip this without everything. But this is nice and snug. This has room, the power. And when I want to charge this brick, everything's, it's, everything's modulable. So you can just plug it, unplug it and go your way. But I had never seen a, uh, a, a, uh, cyber deck that looks like this i don't know if you guys ever saw something like this before but this is cool I, this is a nice easy way to build one um, i'm going to make it look a little prettier soon um, but this is going to be the final design this is what i decided for it to look like so again this is could be an off-grid kit you can charge it with the sun and it doesn't require that much power at all i'm, I'm running all of this a whole computer and this is supposed to be touch screen too i forgot to tell you so if I plug this, I'm, I'm going to try to get the touch screen to work too. So that's something I'm going to add as well. So well, let me get back to you while this thing finishes up and then we'll keep exploring. All right. So I finished the packaging stuff now. So everything is in place. I have a little slot for the keyboard and mouse. All the wiring is tucked in underneath. And I made a little slot for the Raspberry Pi 5 for carrying. And when I want to use it, I just take it out, put, hook everything up on the side. And when I'm done, I go ahead and slide it back in its slot. Everything stays nice and tight. I'm about to close it. It's the close test. Closes, closes. It's heavy. I actually knocked the camera out of my hands, but open it. Make sure to see if everything stayed. Now, this is, I haven't even glued anything down yet, so let's see how this goes. It worked! Success. So I failed a lot. Um, I ended up having to use some of the foam for the uh, big, this is going to be a video next, the actual uh, cyber deck here. Um, it's, this is going to be another easy one, um, a lazy one. Uh, this one's going to be probably easier to set up, but I'll going to be diving into that in the next video, but this works. So I'm going to tidy this up and I'm going to test it um, and I'll show you guys the outcome. No, man, I'm really excited to share this with you. So the main purpose I made this because I wanted to have like some off-grid comm type of thing and uh, I could take off the grid and do like mesh-tastic communications and do eventually do ATAC stuff. So it works. So let me tell you what's going on here. So right now the Raspberry Pi 5 is connected to my LilyGo uh, T-Beam. I'm on the mesh-tastic web client right now. And this guy is a completely isolated um, mesh-tastic device. So this is, you guys seen this in my videos before. This is my... Uh, the T deck uh, plus here. Um, so this is completely isolated. So I'm going to send a message and if it works, it's going to receive it. You'll hear it in a second. So I just tested it. Also, I got the touch screen to work too. If you guys can see right here, the touch screen's working. So I'm going to go ahead and send another test message and we'll see if it actually receives it. If this works, which I know it's kind of, it's, it's, it's just, I'm so happy. Let's go ahead and send it. Oh, it did it. 
there it is. And it's proved that it's working, so let's go ahead and get this. So you see the mouse? I think I, I think this thing lost connection, so let's go ahead and turn it back on. All right, so you see the mouse working right here, so we're going to type here. Let's go ahead and hit that. Let's, let's hit a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of J's. Hey, let's go ahead and send it. Oh, it works! This is so cool. We built this. I mean, this is a lazy man uh, cyber deck too. Like we're using a, you saw how I did this. Super easy setup here. Anybody can do this. It was really easy to set up the Raspberry Pi 5. Thank you, El Crow, for sending me the... Uh, seven inch hdmi touchscreen it works great this is probably the best touchscreen i've had i bought other touchscreens in the past on uh, amazon and i never got them to work right this was literally plug and play i didn't need to download anything i just literally plugged everything in where it said the plug-in and it works so big shout out to them for making that happen thank you very much really do appreciate it this project wouldn't have been possible without them and uh I just, this is a really easy build. I think you guys could do this. This is a lazy man a cyber deck. It works. It works with Meshtastic and off grid comms, which is so cool. Let me try the other way around. So let me go ahead and send a message. I'm spamming, spamming G. There it is. It works. I'm so, I'm so hyped right now. But yeah, thank you very much for Elcro for sending me that uh, screen. I'm going to leave a link in the description for their product. And, uh, what do you guys think about this project? It's Do you guys want to build one of these things? You think this is easy enough for you guys to build? Um, there was no soldering. You saw it. I basically just tape things and put a couple screws where the monitor is. Really nice, simple project. Fairly easy. As you see here, everything's tucked away. I can glue it to make it look nicer. You guys probably do a better job than me. Um, but uh, you live and learn. So the next project on my YouTube channel is going to be that big guy over there. Um, it's going to be another lazy man uh cyber deck but that's gonna be the big one so uh, that's it i have a couple of tricks up my sleeve for that one this was a pretty tough one um but i'm really excited about how it came out i really do appreciate all the support on my channel and uh, remember safety is an illusion i'll see you guys in the next video